Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate, JJ. So today we uh, we continue on our 10-in-1, Maxitronics 10-in-1 electronic project lab. Uh, we're up to experiment uh, number uh, number five, the uh, the one transistor radio. Uh, this is a follow-on from the previous circuit, which was the, uh, the diode radio. Um, and it's another radio circuit, so who knows how much success we'll have. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, let's pop you over to the booth and put this guy together. And then when it's done, we'll have a look at it uh, on the bench. All right, well, here we are in the booth. So I'll just pop you over to uh, the book can and we'll have a look at the, uh, the, uh, the circuit. This is circuit number five, the one transistor radio. This radio uses a, <coughs> a single transistor as both detector and amplifier so that sensitivity is much better than the diode radio circuit of number four. Um, in this circuit, the broadcast signals are applied to the tuned circuit then they are fed to the transistor, which detects them and passes the amplified audio signals through the transformer to the earphone. Wiring checklist. So we've got our wiring checklist, and uh, we can just begin working our way through. So let's uh, put you over here. Now I'm just experimenting with having the uh, the, the schema up in the in the in the right hand uh, top right hand corner. Um, uh, hopefully uh, that's good. We'll see. It's the first time I've done that, so hopefully it comes through in 4K and it's legible. Um, so it's a, another experiment for our experimenting lab. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to connect two to three. Uh, again, that's the old uh, short end of the antenna coil to the long end of the antenna coil. Uh, that was the first step of the previous circuit as well. Then we've got three to six. All right, so that's going to connect uh, <clears throat> the coil to the tuning capacitor. <clears throat> then we've got... Four to sixteen. Four to sixteen. What's sixteen? I wonder. Oh, they're going to use the uh, the point oh oh one uf ceramic capacitor. Okay, so that's four to sixteen. We'll put that in. And then we've got uh, five to seven. Five to seven. That's just a small one. We can do that with a white wire. That's connecting the uh, antenna to the tuning capacitor. Five to seven. <clears throat> then we've got six to twelve. All right. So what are we doing there? Ah, we're connecting in the um, the transistor. So we're going to send the uh, tuning capacitor at pin six over to the uh, the emitter of our NPN transistor. I'm fairly sure that's correct. The uh, the emitter tends to have the arrow on it. So this is the emitter. This is the collector. This is the base, and it's an NPN transistor which frankly are my preferred transistors. All right, so we've got our, uh, our six to 12 in. Now we've got to do uh, 10 to 17. 10 to 17, what are we doing there? Okay, we're, we're putting the, uh, the base of the, um, of the transistor to the uh, 0.001 microfarad um, ceramic capacitor. So that's 10 to 17. And then we've got 11, 11, to 13. 11 to 13. Okay, so that's the uh, collector of the NPN transistor that's going over to the transformer. 11 to 13. That's 11 and 13. <clears throat> and then 12 to 27. 12 to 27. Oh, good. At last, we're using the battery. You know, our diode uh, radio, which was the previous uh, experiment, didn't use a battery. So uh, just confirming 12 to 27. 12 to 27. And 14 to 26. Where's 14? Ah, oh, yep, it's the other part of the... Uh, it's the middle of the transformer down here. So that's uh, 14 to 26, which is our power supply. Now we haven't connected a battery, and we won't. We'll just um, we'll connect the uh, um, we'll connect the circuit to our um, our bench power supply and just feed in nine volts. And the reason we're going to do that is that the bench power supply will tell you how much current uh, it's delivering. Uh, so we understand then uh, how much current's being used. So uh, that's the conclusion of the the circuit. We haven't tested it yet, but we'll take it over to the bench and we'll test it out. So I'll see you over there in a second. All right, well, here we are on the bench. Now, let's bring over the, uh, 
the circuit. This is our one transistor radio, which we've just finished putting together in the booth. Now, uh, I've got the uh, headphone here, um, but before we put in the headphone, we're going to need to get ourselves some power. So I'll just, uh, what have we got? I'll uh, just put you over there. Now we're going to power up that guy. So if I just find him, up he comes. Now we're going to want that guy at nine volts. It's already set at nine volts. Um, excellent. So uh, uh, let's plug him in. These are the, uh, the power is there and there. Wonderful. Keep the, the probes separate. Now I never remember which side's positive. Uh, that's labeled positive, so let's assume that the labels are correct. Now this guy's switched off there at the moment, so I won't accidentally short out the leads uh, while I'm flapping them around here. Let's put uh, that guy on there and that guy on there. All right, so we've got some power, uh, and I'll just get the um, the circuit diagram. We've got one earphone on 15 and one earphone on 14, and we've got our ground here. Yes, here is the ground. So let's just put him on, and the antenna goes up to the top here, um, which is here. So there's our antenna. Now, if the antenna doesn't work this time, I've got this little doodad. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you haven't been able to see what I'm doing. Damn me. Um, I've got this doodad here, um, which will be able to use, be used to plug in. Uh, can I get that across there? Yeah, that, that's, the, uh, that's the roof aerial there. So um, if this aerial is no good, we can try with the roof aerial and maybe that'll be better. I don't know. So we've got power in, but we haven't got it turned on. We've got our ground in, we've got our aerial in. I'll just throw the switch on the ground and that's hasn't gone green. Okay, well, it doesn't like that at all, does it? Um, maybe if we power him on, let's power him on. All right, it's not drawing any power uh, of note, um, so that's okay. Uh, we haven't connected the, uh, I'll just turn him off for a second and we'll put in the uh, the headphone. Now just confirming that the headphone is pins 14 and 15. I think we're missing, oh no, what have we done here? Yes, I've definitely made a mistake here. Pin 26 goes to pin 15. Gee, I'm glad I got that the right way around. I wonder if I've made any other mistakes like that. All right, so <clears throat> let's try power again. All right, it's delivering nine volts. Is zero amps being consumed. Can't hear a thing. Very disappointing. Not a thing. Oh, hang on. This particular cable didn't look very good. I heard something there for a second. Dear me, not a sound. If I throw that switch. Yeah, there's just so many variables. I, I, I don't know where to begin with debugging this. I mean, is the ground is the ground working? Is the aerial working? Why is there no... Is there maybe a, a dud component in here somewhere? You know, like maybe one of these... One of these terminals is, is shot. I don't know. I don't know. What shall we try? Let's try the other aerial. So I've got this thing here. Uh, if I can pop him open... Not quite sure how this guy hangs together. If I, uh, if I don't snap it, I might be able to put it back together later on. Yeah, there's something in there. I don't know which one to push on. Come on. Come. There we go. All right. So on the inside of this is uh, a resistor and a couple of connections. So if I bring this over... This is the roof aerial. If I put him on there, is it going to work? 
There we go. All right, well, uh, we just need another alligator clip for the aerial here. So let's give that a go, huh? There's a aerial there. And this aerial comes off, and this aerial goes on. Well, hasn't made any difference at all. I don't think we've got a good ground. Um, I'm not sure what to expect there. Just nothing. So disappointing. I really don't like these radio circuits there. I've, I've never had any success with them. So, uh, look, I can't see a problem here. I'm not 100% sure that the ground is truly grounded. I, I, I don't know. The aerial, I've tried two aerials. I'm not sure that I could do anything more. Uh, the wiring all seems to be basically correct. It's not very sophisticated and it seems to be right. We've got our transistor. We've got our power in there. The power is on. It's drawing a negligible amount of current. Let's just confirm the uh, the wiring. We've got two to three, and then three to six, and then four to 16, and five to seven, and six to 12, and 10 to 17, and 11 to 13, and 12 to 27, and 14, to 26 and uh, the antenna is on pin 1 and the radio ground the ground is on pin 6 the earphone is on pin 15 and pin 14 <sighs> just not a sound no scratch no nothing I, uh, I just don't understand the powers on just nothing. I was expecting to pick up maybe some static or something at least, you know. I wonder if there's a dead connection. I, I really would expect static electricity from a static noise from a from a radio. Not in, oh, there we go. Oh wow, this thing just suddenly started making all sorts of noise. Wow, there we go. I don't know what changed, but it's working all of a sudden. Okay, it's working now. And when I change the uh, the tuning capacitor, I get different different noise. Okay, great. So what was the problem, do you suppose? I don't know. Let's try our better aerial. Well, I think the better, better aerial is actually the smaller one here. All right, good. Well, we're getting static now. So what on earth was the problem? What changed? Because it's working now. Why wasn't it working before? I don't understand. When I disconnect that power rail, it actually works a lot better. Not works, it's just an, an awful lot louder. Well, at least we got static out of, out of the thing. It's better than nothing. Adjusting these wires doesn't seem to have much effect. Whoop. Ah. Well, um, I, I continue to hear static. If I drop the ground out,
Well, I'm sorry, there's not really much to report. I'm just listening here on the static, and uh, it's it's just static. I, I, I'm not picking up any radio stations or anything like that to speak of. I might just try the uh, the battery and turn him off. All right, when you turn the power off, it does actually uh, power down. It stops working. Okay. Wow, this is not on, but when I put that on there, it's actually providing some sort of power. That's weird. All right, so let's put this on here. This is our battery. Okay. I'm not sure what to report here. The, the static continues. It's just static. Changing the, uh, the tuning capacitor has basically no effect. I don't think we've got a good ground. So battery is connected. I think that the... Uh, the difference between the the battery and the power supply seems to be significant. Like the, the power supply just works completely differently. <coughs> Alright, and when we uh when we disconnect the aerial, we do lose the static. There's no static there. And if I connect this to the roof aerial, it's not better. Yeah, that's not better. Shall we try the um, the long wire? I honestly, I'm inclined to give up. I I, I just uh, I don't like radio circuits. Never had any luck with them. <laughs> um, I suppose we should, uh, for the sake of completeness, put this through the scope. So whatever's coming through, have you got the scope? No scope for you. <laughs> what about that? Put that on there. All right, I'm just going to hook this up to the. Uh, what are we going to do? That's the negative. Well, we'll just put him across here. So, uh, turn him on. All right, and if we hit auto, let's see what he does. All right, and. Uh, we change the tuning capacitor. Oh, it does change. Oh. Well, I'm not sure what to... I'm, I'm just adjusting the uh, the tuning capacitor here. And it is definitely affecting that signal, isn't it? If, uh... Oops, sorry, I just I knocked it off. Let me just reconnect that. All right. Well, um, what you're seeing is the uh, the effects of me uh, trying to tune the thing with the tuning capacitor. It's almost like it's not even connected to that tuning capacitor. Well, that made a pretty big difference, didn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure what to say about this at all. <sighs> oh. 
all right well let's just pop you back over here I uh, have my goggles on so uh, another disappointing radio circuit at least this time we got a little bit of static I'm sorry um, that it was probably pretty boring for you. I was just sitting there hearing a little bit of static come through. Uh, there was absolutely no hint of a radio station. I didn't hear anything that sounded like a DJ or a song or nothing. It was just random noise. Um, it was a bit weird. Um, when I connected just the positive power rail uh, over here, um, the whole circuit started sort of operating. Um, and the, the um, I mean, you might even be able to hear that. Can you hear that? It's like this static coming through the earphone. When this is powered on to the positive, and it's switched off at the at the mains, so that there's it's it's not even on. It's it's it says that it's delivering zero volts. So it says it's delivering zero volts, but it's causing this thing to to, to go nuts. So I really don't understand. Oh, and if I take the uh, the aerial off, that noise stops. So when the aerial's on and the power rail to the positive power, which isn't even on causes this thing to go nuts. I have to say, look up, let's just keep on keeping on. I'll put you back over here. Let's put the uh, oscilloscope back on and let's hook him up and see what's happening across the... Uh, up, and we put the scope on and it affects the circuit. All right, let's put him on auto. What have we got here? All right, and if I change the, uh, the tuning capacitor... Do you know how to... Ex I just have no idea what's going on. So there's just a hum. There's just a hum. What have I done? Am I just picking up noise, electromagnetic interference from like the power circuitry in the room? I wonder if I can get... Uh... That's a very stable signal there. What's it doing? I don't understand. I just don't understand. I, uh, I disconnect the uh... what about if we try powering him on can't explain this at all What's that signal and why does it change? What am I looking at? I don't know. Uh, it says uh, 200 millivolts minus 8 millivolts. I want to know what the uh, I want to know what the uh, frequency is that we're looking at here. How will I do that? Let's go back to uh, menu off. Now how do I bring up uh, <coughs> We want to know, what about histogram? What, what's that? Histogram? No. Uh, how about math? Uh, I don't want, I, I don't want signal math. No, I don't want math. No, no math. Uh, maybe statistics or something. Uh, what about histogram? Show me histogram. Uh, enable type source. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's change the source to channel one and statistics on. <clears throat> Reset. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, yeah. Enable. On. All right. We want to know. No, that's not what we want. What we want to know is the frequency. I think maybe that H, uh, five milliseconds. I'll turn him off. All right. And if I hit auto again. All right. So.
so the scale is five milliseconds, is that right? I don't know, oh, it's H for horizontal, I guess, not H for hertz. Uh, let's just have a look at our options here. Uh, statistics on. Uh, when I move around the lab, I affect the signal. I'll turn the statistics off again. Acquire. Okay. Uh, utility. No. Display. All right, give me a second. I'm just going to pause the video and I'll be back uh, in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, we're still looking at the scope there, and what I, what I wanted to do was figure out how to how to measure the frequency. Um, so, um, measure, add uh, frequency, and uh, okay, how do I accept that? Oh no, I want frequency. Oh no, all right. Uh, indicator on frequency close. Uh, source is channel one. Oh, there we go. All right, so um, it's jumping all around the place, isn't it? Okay, look at that. That that just for a bit there. That was really that was fifty hertz, wasn't it? There seems to be some fifty hertz signal, and then it, it loses it. I wonder if we could have changed the um, horizontal. Or, or the trigger. Where's the trigger? Uh, there's the trigger. All right. There we go. All right, up we go. No, it's not regular enough. It doesn't seem to be a particularly regular signal, but at the same time, it doesn't seem to be completely irregular either. I'll turn that indicator off. All right, and there we go. The frequency is now, it's at 50 hertz. So um, I'm picking up I'm picking up EMF from the power lines at 50 hertz. That's the, uh, that's the, the, that's the, the signal that I'm getting. It's got nothing to do with, um, it's got nothing to do with radio. Um, it's just, uh, it's just picking up the EMF from the, from the power line. <sighs> Another disappointing circuit. So, uh, I'll just pop it back over here and we'll wrap up. So, uh, that was circuit number five, the one transistor radio. Um, it was different at least to the uh, circuit number four, which was the diode radio. The diode radio just didn't fly at all. Uh, this thing at least made some noise. And if you fooled around with the base of the capacitor, it affected the amplification. Uh, it seems to me that the signal that was coming through is just a picking up the EMF from the power line, which you can imagine all this noisy uh, high voltage power in the background here. It's just making noise everywhere, which is another reason why I prefer digital circuits to uh, to radio because the, the noise in the environment is considerable. Um, we did try the house aerial. Um, that didn't seem to help at all. Um, we tried this big aerial as well, which is up the back here, and that wasn't particularly good. There was that weird little thing where uh, it worked, even though there was no power coming through. It said it was delivering zero volts, but it seemed to affect the circuit in a pretty dramatic way. It made the earphone make an awful lot of noise. Um, did we learn anything today? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I did learn how to measure a frequency on the oscilloscope. So you, you press measure and then you press add and then you pick frequency and, um, and, uh, and, and then it puts it up down the bottom, down, down the bottom there. It tells you the frequency. So, uh, that was something we learned how to measure a frequency on the oscilloscope. Um, we didn't get any sort of a, a, a comprehensible signal out of the radio. There was no song. There was no DJ. There was just nothing. So, um, yes, that's unfortunate. And, um, uh, up next will be, 
one transistor radio with diode. So we've had two radios that didn't work and we're going to go for a third radio. So um, it won't be long and we'll be past all of this radio stuff and we'll be on to, to other stuff which I'm more interested in doing. But, you know, we are learning a few things and uh, going through the motions. So uh, that brings us to the end of this particular video. And uh, stick around and I'll see you in the next one for the one transistor radio with diode. diode. <laughs> see you then.